it started everything it started a new evolution this is more of a political statement than a mere policy i'm so happy that our society is evolving Piracy was always a dream of every girl out there. It was not just my dream. It was not just uh, my friend's dream. But we too had dreamt about it for a very long time. We took official charge of the union on December twenty second, two thousand twenty two, and uh, this was the first time that chairperson and general secretary of Kusat Union were girls. That was a history in the campus. So uh, we had a dream that our first proposal as a union should be about piracy. When the newly elected Students Union of Kusat approached their administration with a proposal for menstrual leave, they expected it to be a tough process. But to their own surprise, not only did the registrar readily accept the proposal, the order was issued in less than 10 days. This is reflective of a general change in society. where menstruation is slowly but surely being normalized i personally went to the registrar ma'am on december 23rd itself and she responded very very favorably and asked us to give an official request so on the reopening day itself that is on january 3rd 2023 we gave an official request to the uh, registrar proposing for period sleep what we proposed was uh, two days per month that is a maximum of 24 days per year with a 20 with a 20 days interval Uh, between each claims and they suggested an an alternate option that is a 2 percent days attendance relaxation and as a beginning it was welcoming for us because uh, more than a policy this is a political statement and i think this is a very revolutionary step that a university took such a decision in at a very very like very fastly to all those people who says this two person it is not sufficient the one thing i have to say is this is more of a political statement than a mere policy the thing is there was a time uh, we hesitated to talk about periods there was a time the girls hesitated to go out of the uh, like um, their home uh, go to their school and talk about it openly to their friends this is giving an option and choice to all the girls to take rest like to avail their fundamental right actually and uh, like if we calculate the number of uh, number of days of periods maybe this 2 percent is not sufficient for a menstrual cycle in one semester but the thing is this is a starting we can have more dialogues and more debates upon that when it gets implemented two women being in the topmost positions is the first time Kusat had talking about women in power maybe Pearsley was more personal for me so being a woman i know how uh, how much struggles a woman go through when women come to the uh, friend positions uh, like we know the problems that we go through so it's more easy that uh, when that we can we can totally relate to all the problems and we can advocate for the same now there are discussions going on about uh, this menstrual leave relating to this menstrual leave and uh, everyone in our campus is also talking about menstruation and the uh, challenges related to menstruation alingile what all changes that they want to see uh, in the campus right now so now it's becoming more normal the students are also discussing it the employees are discussing it the teachers are discussing it 
it has become a normal thing i'm so happy that our society is evolving even though many people are uh, like spreading hated comments on that a majority of the population is actually supporting it currently this provision of period slip is now extended to only the female students uh, the thing is we are not very much aware that menstruating people can also be people from transgender community even trans men uh, can also be menstruating at times so the current provision has not extended this particular benefit to the transgender community and i hope one day uh, like not in, not in a very far time this particular provision will be extended to all the menstruating people It started everything. It started a new evolution. We are so proud for that.